Hi guys, I'm Danica with Coupon at its Finest and I'm bringing to you today my coupon haul and today is February the 20th. Now for today, um, I did Walgreens and CVS. I haven't been in CVS in quite a while since around the end of 2020 um, and they stopped giving me CRTs. I was about to change my account but I went ahead and just used my um, regular account and just grabbed a couple of things so that I could build more um, purchase history. It seems like they reset my purchase history. And for today, for Walgreens, we do have a little bit of story time. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, let's start with CVS. I did four transactions. Um, the first deal I did was the Maybelline. Now, I chose to get two of the baby lips. Now, the deal for Maybelline is you're going to buy two. You'll get back um, a $5 ECB. And these deals for Walgreens and CVS do end for today. Um, I was just showing you guys um, what I was able to accomplish. So anyway, these were buy two, get a $5 ECB. And then I did the Revlon. That one was spend $12, you'll get back a $5 ECB. So I chose the Revlon Color Stay um, Concealer. Now this was $12.99. And then the baby lips were $4.79. So I used for this transaction, now all of these are gonna be separate. So for this transaction, I did use a $3 off 15 Cosmetics CRT. And then I also have Care Pass. And be sure if you don't have Care Pass to sign up for that, even if you don't use um, CBS for your prescriptions, which I do. But um, even if you don't, it's a $5 a month charge and they'll give you a $10 ECB. So I think that's um, a little bit of an incentive to go ahead and sign up for Care Pass. So anyway, I did use the $10 Care Pass and I also had a $1 ECB in my account. So I rolled in $11 in total. So for this transaction, my out-of-pocket was $8.57 and I did get back my $10 ECB. Now for the next transaction, I did get the Eucerin. Now these are the bigger bottles. These were on the deal for spend $20, you will get back a $10 ECB. Um, my regular shelf price was $11.49. So I did get two of those. Now for this transaction, I did use a $3 off 10 lotion purchase CRT. And then I also used two $2 off one Eucerin manufacturer coupons. And I believe those were in your 130 smart source. And then I also wrote in the $10 in ECBs I got from the cosmetics deal. So my total after all coupons and discounts was $5.98. And I did get back my $10 ECB. Okay, now for the next transaction, um, I originally wanted the Tide liquid, but they didn't carry it in that location. So I opted to get the Tide Pods. Now this is specifically the Hygienic Clean, and this is listed in the ad for Power Pods. Now these are gonna be um, the 21 count, $11.49. And then I got the Downy. This is going to be the 48 low. This was $5.94. And then I got two of the Kleenex. These were two for three dollars. So coupons used, I used a $3 off one for the Tide Pods digital coupon. And then I also used a $1 off Downy. Now that one was a regular paper coupon from the PNG insert. And then I didn't use anything on the Kleenex. And then I rolled in that $10 ECB that I got from the Eucerin deal. So my total out of pocket was $6.88 and I got back a $5 ECB. So I'm not sure when is the next time I'm going to be going back over to CVS. Um, it's a little bit further from where I live now. So I opted to go ahead and burn that $5 ECB. So I was looking for something for facial care, which is something I'm low in in my stockpile. So I found the Neutrogena cleanser here. This was $5.19. So I there were no other coupons and discounts used for this. I used that $5 ECB that I got from the Tide deal. So that ended up making this just 19 cents out of pocket. I didn't get anything back for it, but I needed the facial cleanser. And like I said, I'm not sure when I'm gonna make it back to CVS. So that was a, ended up being a really good deal. Okay, now let's go ahead and move on to Walgreens. Now I'm gonna uh, tell you guys uh, the story time. I did post it in my Facebook group when I left the store. Um, I had issues with um, 
I always tell you guys, reading is fundamental. <laughs> uh, but I had issues with a register reward, but we'll get to that in one second. So this is going to be three transactions. So for the first transaction, I did get the Revlon um, Kiss Balms. Now, for my location, they were $5.29. For this week, these are going to be buy one, get one, 50% off. So one rang $5.29, and this one rang $2.64. And by the way, guys, just a heads up, this is a really great deal starting tomorrow for Walgreens. It's an even better deal than it is for this week. And the deal is when you buy two, you will get a $4 register reward. For next week, starting tomorrow, when you buy two, you will get a $5 register reward. So just be on the lookout for that. Also in the transaction, um, I had three, I'm sorry, I had six of the Complete Home freezer bags. Now, these are regular shelf price, $2.79, and they're usually on a deal for buy one, you're going to get two for free. So four of these were free, and then two of them were $2.79 each. Also in the transaction was the Complete Home um, Aluminum Foil. Only four of them. Now it's the 25 square feet and these are also a usual deal every week or every other week. They're going to be 99 cents. Now for this digital coupon, which makes them 99 cents, you do have to load to your account. So be sure that you load it prior to shopping. We no longer have ads in the store because it used to be an in-ad coupon, but now it's digital only. So be sure that you load that. And then also in the transaction was the big bundle pack, which is a three pack of the Kleenex tissue. Now those are gonna be regular shelf price, $5. Now coupons used for the Revlon, I did use the $4 off two digital coupon that I told you guys about in this week's uh, Walgreens Best Scenarios of the Week video. Now, I also opted to get um, what was actually in my uh, Google document, but because of lack of store stock, I wasn't able to accomplish that second transaction. But here is a picture of the first transaction, which I did post earlier this week on um, Couponing at its Finest Facebook group. So from that transaction, I did get a points booster. Um, when you spend $30, you will get $7 back in points. So that's where this one came from. Now back to this transaction, I did use the $4 off two on the Kiss Ball. And then I also used $1.25 off IVC. What is the IVC? In-store value coupons. That is your book that is at the front of every store. That is a store coupon. Um, and it's also available digitally if you prefer. So $1.25 came off on that. And then it was also a $1 digital Kleenex, which wasn't in my account this past Sunday when I did the video. But it popped up later on. So I used it anyway. And that was a regular manufactured digital coupon okay in addition to that I did use the three dollar um, register reward that I got back from the big deal that was done earlier in this week so my total out-of-pocket was $13.22 now I had customer service credit because I attempted the um, second transaction at another location and we just had uh, major issues they gave me back $20 in wax cash so I did have that to play with as well. So with my total being um, $13.22, it was $1.88 in tax. So in total, it was $15.10. And then I always tell you guys that points eat tax, which now is wax cash. That eats tax. Register rewards do not. So I always have to give you after tax. $15.10, so I used $10 in wax cash. So that brought my total down to $5.01 out of pocket. And then I got back the $4 register reward for the Revlon deal. Okay, so that was the first transaction. For the second transaction, I did get now, this is what I wanted to teach you guys today. For register rewards, those are deemed as manufacturer coupons. They can be used on any account. So if you have an account and your husband has an account or your wife has an account, those are interchangeable. If you wanted to give it to somebody, you could do that. Points are not interchangeable, but register rewards are. So my husband had $2 in wax cash on his account. So I wanted to go ahead and use that up. 
So for my second transaction, I got three more of the Complete Home bags. Once again, those are regular shelf price, $2.79. And they are on a deal for buy one, get two free. And then I also got four more of the um, Complete Home aluminum foil. Once again, with digital coupon added, those are going to be 99 cents. So I did use that $4 register reward that I got from my account on, from the Revlon deal on my husband's transaction. It did attach, it, well, it doesn't matter what it attached to because all I had was store branded products. And then I just used that $4 register reward to bring it down. So my total after tax was $3.32. Now I attempted to use the $2 he had in wax cash, but they kept saying the zip code was wrong. We only have one zip code and I updated the account way back in November of 2020 when I told you guys to change your accounts over to the new program. I double checked it then. When I got home today, I double checked it and it was correct. But the wax cash wouldn't come out. So I had to pay the $3.32 out of pocket. Otherwise, that would have been a dollar and 32 cents. Okay, now for my last transaction, I told you guys about this a few weeks ago to go ahead and get your coupons because this was a really great deal. The blank contact lens, um, well, actually all of them are going to be regular shelf price, but we have a high value in-store value coupon, the monthly book. $4 off and it comes off each one. So I did this in the last final transaction by yourself. Now for my store, they were $8.49. Other stores, they may be $7.49. So they'll come out a whole lot cheaper if you have the $7.49 price. But for me, I did use the $4 off IVC and it came off each one of them. Four times four is 16. So $16 came off of this. Let me show you guys the receipt for this one. See, four at eight forty nine. Then the four dollar IVC took off sixteen. It started at thirty two ninety six. It deducted sixteen dollars, and then I used three three dollar off one regular paper manufacturer coupons. And then I used a $4 register reward I got back from doing the Revlon deal or earlier this week while attempting to, and it just didn't go right, which, like I said, I ended up with customer service credit, but I ended up being able to keep the register reward. So I used it. So instead of, this is another thing, and I taught you guys this in Walgreens Best Scenarios of the Week live video that we did a couple of weeks ago, that sometimes it comes out to be a better deal if you replace one of your paper manufacturer coupons with a register reward instead because I have four products. I only use three of my paper coupons and then I use the $4 uh, register reward as an additional manufacturer coupon, which in turn attached to that fourth product. If I had used another paper coupon, I wouldn't be able to do this because I taught you guys also item to coupon ratio. One coupon per item purchased. So with that said, that dropped my total down to $4.96. Now we're gonna talk about after tax because I did use wax cash. So it was $7.80. I used $5 in wax cash, which dropped me down to $2.80 for all four of the blank. So that was a really great deal. Now, if you want to pull out the tax on that one, that dropped them down to $1.49 each. That's just the math on it if you were interested in that. And then I did get another points booster. Spent $25. You will get $7 back in WAX cash. So I have two points boosters and I still have some uh, WAX cash left to do another deal for next week. Okay, now for the little bit of story time that I was going to tell you guys. So, um, since I've been teaching you guys, and you guys can pull it up in a policy, or you can look it up on Google if you want to. A register reward is deemed as a manufacturer coupon. That is an incentive that is give, given back for uh, accomplishing or executing stated deal, which is advertised in store or in ad. So, the Revlon deal was both in ad and in store tag. When you buy two, you'll get back a $4 register reward. Now, the register reward that I got back, I was that I used on the complete home um, purchase, the manager told me I couldn't use the Revlon register reward 
um, because it was only to be used on Revlon products. I said that is highly incorrect. If you read the register reward in bold plain letters, I don't have another one up here because I used it to show you guys. But in bold plain letters, it says um, can be you four dollars off on your next order on your next purchase in store. And then after that, it says compliments of Revlon. If you did the PNG deal, it'll say compliments of PNG. I did the big deal earlier this week and it said compliments of big razors. So with that said, for over 20 years that register rewards have been around, they've never changed. I asked the manager, can you show me in the policy where they have made that change that a register reward cannot be used on the next purchase of anything you want that is not an excluded item clearly stated on the register reward? He said, yeah, it's in the policy. I said, can you show it to me? He said, no, I can't. I said, "Uh uh-huh. So <laughs> I said, that makes no sense. I said, you use it on what's stated and it says on your next purchase. It's always been that way. It is not um, product specific. It's never been that way for those deals. So he argued me down for about a good 10 minutes. I had to call one of my um, coupon friends, um, Cassie in Pennsylvania. She doesn't even have Walgreens. And she said, yes, you can use it on the next purchase. We all know that. That's obvious. The register reward says that. So I told him, I said, okay, is there enough, is the store manager available? Because he was a regular floor manager. He said, no, the store manager wasn't there. I said, is there another manager in the store that can come read this? registry reward and tell me I, and prove I'm wrong. I said, prove it. If you can prove I'm wrong, great. I'll leave this here and I'll walk. I have no problems doing that. So he said, okay, that's fine. So he called another manager up. That manager came, read the registry reward and said, yes, ma'am, you can use this on the complete home products. You can only use it on, um, you only cannot use it on tobacco gift cards, um, et cetera, things that are excluded, liquor, different things like that. But this purchase, yes, you can use it on your next order. You do not have to buy Revlon products to use the register reward because it states compliments of. I said, thank you. So the other manager, he was <laughs> I'm not now I was hot, first of all, but he was mad. He rolled his eyes at me and I don't care. You can roll your eyes until they fall out your head. I don't care. But you're wrong. Period. I asked him also during a conversation. Um, it comes from the Catalina machine. He didn't know what a Catalina machine was. I said, it's the little uh, gray box that's sitting right next to your register that prints your receipt. He said, that's outside of my job description. I don't need to know what a Catalina is. I said, register rewards come from that machine. You have to service that machine, sir. Um, You're a manager, sir. You're supposed to know what a Catalina is. I said, if you go to uh, Kroger, you go to Albertsons, you go to a grocery store or any other store that does Catalina, when you get your receipt, you might get a Catalina for a certain purchase. That's that's what a Catalina is. It's manufacturer sponsored. You guys have always done that. I said, so how do you not know what a Catalina is? So I, 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 I'm just, I was so over it. I was so ready to walk out the store, but I needed the foil and I needed the bags. So I stood my ground. I put my foot down and I stood there and waited 50 years for another manager to come and explain to the other manager that he was wrong and I was right. So that's my story time. <laughs> And I'm not going to call corporate or anything to that effect because it was just bad and customers were lined up that I can't stand. And it it was a scene. And I'm like, dude, I'm not going to make a scene. You're, you're not even challenging me on a regular paper manufacturer coupon or a digital. You're challenging me on a register reward. Really? In 12 years that I've couponed, I've never been challenged on usage of a register reward. I was hot about that one. Like, Really? <sighs> but anyway, so overall, I had a good haul with everything else. And then I did CVS. And then I'm also going to do a mini video for or couponing is fine. Facebook group in just a moment. Um, shout out to couponing with Tony for mentioning the store years ago, five and below. We actually got one here in Vegas and I was actually able to visit the store today. And I found a couple of good things. Okay, guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and happy couponing with love. Bye.